Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. I have a confession. I really dislike store-bought nut milk. I've tried so many, almond, cashew, coconut, etc. All the commercial ones are watered down with added thickeners and the artisan ones are so expensive, sometimes more than $10 for a small jar. So I figured out how to make my own. My almond macadamia milk is the creamiest, dreamiest non-dairy milk there is. It's also naturally slightly sweet, so you don't even need any added sugar. At the end, I'll even show you how it works in a latte. The night before, I soak one and a quarter cups of macadamia flour and half a cup of chopped almonds with filtered water. This macadamia flour is coarse, so I don't think it'd work for baking, but it's actually perfect for nut milk because it's already chopped up and much cheaper than whole macadamias. I'm adding enough water to cover the nuts here, which is about one and a half cups of water for me. Let it soak overnight in the fridge. You can leave this soaking for up to two days if you aren't making the milk right away. I have an extra large nut milk filter here. You can also use a colander lined with muslin cloth or a very fine sieve instead. I only have a small magic bullet, so I'm splitting the nuts in half to make blending easier. I add about a cup of water to each half. If you have a larger blender, you don't need to split the portion in half. Also, you can use more or less water depending on the consistency that you want in your milk. With one hand, make sure the top of the bag is cinched tight. With the other hand, begin to squeeze the liquid out, twisting the bag as you get farther down. I package up the nut solids and store them in the freezer. They make fantastic nut crackers. I'll show you how I make those in a future video, so be sure to subscribe. You can also add the nuts to meatballs, use them instead of breading on fried chicken or fish, or dehydrate them to make your own nut flour. This recipe makes about a quart of nut milk. It only lasts for about three to four days in the fridge, but I'm sure it'll be gone before you know it. The milk will separate over time, but give it a little shake and you're good to go. See how easy it is to make your own nut milk? This stuff is way better than what you can buy in the store, and I hope you give this recipe a try. But the real question is... I'm making a mocha here with one and a half teaspoons of cocoa powder and two teaspoons of agave syrup. The nut milk is so creamy and silky. The only way to describe this experience is luxurious. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more easy cooking and baking videos, and say hi in the comments. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.